The Royal Fire Brigade provides a valuable service in the expanding suburbs of Logan, allowing people to settle in more remote areas with security. Royal Fire Brigades are totally voluntary organisations established to provide assistance to the local community in rural fire management. They are a recognisable and legally constituted fire management organisation whose volunteers join together for mutual protection for themselves, their property and the community against the danger of fire. There are currently three major functioning brigades within the wider Logan community, Green Bank, Tambourine and Logan Village. To prevent fires and to fight fires within the brigade area so as to protect persons, property and the environment is the mission statement of the Logan Royal Fire Brigade, founded in 1979 with a small band of volunteers. Their primary objective was to control bushfires in what was largely a farming area. On June 22, 1985, it took up residency of its first home on the southern side of the dump on Waterford Tambourine Road, opposite Hoyts Road, Logan Village. Over the following years, the brigade grew, as did the village until the area became classified rural residential rather than rural. In 1994, now with the title of Logan Village Rural Fire Brigade, they moved uptown 100 metres to the northern side of the dump. By this time the brigade had about 40 members and most of the members had started to gain qualifications. The brigade made considerable advances over time. Most of the funds were raised by members. Vehicles and equipment only remained serviceable due to time and effort of members. Government was slow and little in coming. The Logan Village Royal Fire Brigade is currently a Class 3 brigade. They still continue to carry out their primary objective to control bushfires. However, they have now expanded their objective to attend road accidents, structural fires, car fires, gas problems and controlled burn-offs. These have greatly increased with the growth of the area. The Green Bank Royal Fire Brigade states its mission as a volunteer emergency service unit set up to protect the local community against fire. It was established in 1982 when some concerned locals met and formed the Green Bank Bush Fire Brigade. Currently located on Ison Road at Green Bank, they have 26 active firefighters, 5 support members and 5 beginners ranging from 16 to 80 years of age, both male and female. Residents worked extremely hard to get the brigade established, as no funding was available in those days. Fostering safety in the community through commitment and dedication is the mission statement of the Tambourine Royal Fire Brigade. Currently a level 2 brigade, like most Royal Fire Brigades, it is made up of a team of dedicated volunteers. The Tambourine Brigade finds itself looking after a community largely at the mercy of urbanisation through ongoing residential development. This trend to seek an acreage lifestyle has led to a change in the overall perception of a Royal Fire Brigade and what it does. To become a member of the Royal Fire Brigade costs nothing but time and effort. They provide new members with free personal protective equipment such as a fire resistant jacket and trousers, boots, helmet, goggles, smoke mask and gloves. Experienced firefighters train and guide new members and a training coordinator provides weekly training sessions. The training coordinator endeavours to provide graduated levels of skill and experiences to develop each member's ability. Operationally, the first officer is in charge of three firefighting crews. Each crew has a leader and six to eight firefighters. Management of the brigade is handled by an elect committee. Brigade members attend their general meeting held usually on the first week of every month. These meetings discuss any matter of interest or concern and upcoming fundraising events. The brigades are generally funded by a combination of council, RFS, the state government and donations from the community. The Logan City Council collects an annual $25 dollar fire levy from each property and hands that to the local rural fire brigades to buy trucks, hoses, servicing and repairing trucks and fuels. Unfortunately that levy is insufficient to cover the brigade's real annual costs so some fundraising is also undertaken. On 
the 30th of September 2008, Queensland Royal Fire Brigade, in conjunction with Reliance Petroleum, announced a partnership between Queensland Fire and Rescue and Reliance Petroleum NBP. This partnership saw Royal Fire Brigades across Logan obtain a vital piece of firefighting equipment that will assist them in years to come. Support to the Royal Fire Brigades is provided through legal protection against claims for damages, volunteer training, workers' compensation coverage, free personal protective equipment for firefighting, and subsidised fire fighting appliances and equipment. Public safety is paramount importance within the Royal Fire Brigade. The protection of life and property through reducing the risk of wildfire, managing the use of fire for hazard reduction and land management purposes and managing any unwanted fire. Since the outer suburbs of Logan are the areas of highest fire risk, a reliable fire service is of critical importance. Clearly, the Royal Fire Brigade provides a valuable service in the expanding suburbs of Logan, allowing people to settle in more remote areas with security.